Howdy folks. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix a, a Google Chrome profile error. Uh, now the thing is if you have closed Google Chrome and you can't open it again because of the profile error, press Control alt delete and you'll get a similar screen to this on your Windows PC and I want you to open the task manager okay and in the task manager go down and select each Google Chrome entry okay and choose end task all right now um, there's something about getting to this view that I'll have to show you in one moment I well, just click on each of these and end task you see down here at the bottom where it says fewer details so if you get this little window here with your task manager uh, and you're not seeing Google Chrome click on more details and then scroll down to it okay and that's only if uh, you just can't open Google Chrome at all uh, alternatively try restarting your computer which will clear uh, Chrome from your memory and then go ahead and try and open it once more now the error that we're talking about is if we click on Chrome now that I've cleared it all the crashed parts uh, from memory uh, we get the error that kind of starts it all which is this profile error occurred something went wrong when opening your profile some features may be unavailable blah 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 send feedback so uh, the issue is of course this happens every time you open Chrome I'm just going to for the moment uncheck this and press OK I don't want to restore pages here now the thing is uh, you may have bookmarks and passwords and such in your profile that uh, are important to you right that uh, that you don't want to lose but you do want to reset your profile so one thing that you can do is uh, click in the upper right hand corner all right and then click on settings and then you can connect to a Google account okay so right now I'm connected if I sign out you're gonna see the typical sign into Chrome message here alright so go ahead and click on sign into Chrome put in your Gmail account right click next put in your password click next and then the trick is if you want your bookmarks and your passwords and everything to be backed up you're going to want to um, wait for a while you know just leave Chrome up and running and walk away for an hour say right and that'll give it a chance to actually sync all of these things uh, with your Google account now once that is done you can go ahead and close Chrome okay and uh, maybe for the sake of argument uh, since you're closing it jump back into task manager and just double check and make sure that is actually closed okay so I don't see it in here so we actually have a closed Google Chrome and then you want to go open up your Windows Explorer and in the address bar you want to type in this it's like percent sign and then all in caps local app data local app data and another percent sign and then the backslash all right which is uh, usually on the uh, the QWERTY line at the end of the uh, top line of letters on your keyboard okay so and then Google backslash Chrome backslash okay and when you type that in and hit enter it's going to bring you to a place where you can see a user data folder alright now uh, the path to that will change uh, it, it will depend on what uh, user account you're logged into right like the user here is just called owner but that little bit there should be your name or whatever the original name of that account uh, your Windows account was but anyway when you see this user data folder uh, first thing just with your right mouse button click on it and drag away and then let go and um, well, this is this is this isn't quite what you'll see because I have this little Terracopy utility in here. So I'll say move with Explorer. This is the menu or something similar to it that you'll see. And what you want to do is click on Copy here. Okay. 
So you're cut, you basically we're making a backup of the folder because we're about to delete the actual folder there. So we've backed it up and uh, actually instead of renaming it, we have the copy, instead of deleting, I should say, we've made a copy. Let's also just rename this one. So uh, you can click on it and press F2 or you can right click and, and um, come on, right click so I can show you here and just click on rename, right? And then just say, you know, put a few underscores or something there. So now you've got two copies of your user data folder. Now, if we reopen Chrome, you'll see a new one has appeared, okay? And we'll see that Chrome has it's actually opened up in a different window size because it's not remembering the old size. Let me just tweak that. Okay. So, uh, and you get your whole welcome to Chrome bit, right? So no error, but all your settings, preferences, and everything are gone, right? So this is where we're going to want to actually log in. Now, normally with Chrome, we would see uh, the menu icon in the upper right-hand corner here. But it's sort of in its welcome to Chrome stage here, uh, prompting you to make Chrome your default browser. So you can follow through, click on open Windows settings and etc. Uh, if you like, if you want Chrome to be your default, if it isn't already. But I'm just going to click on continue here. And interestingly, I'm still not seeing the usual sort of hamburger icon, but up here we have this little alert icon here. New extension added. Maybe that's the whole point. It's it's picked up uh, an Adobe Acrobat extension from uh, my Acrobat install. So anyway, click uh, whether it's your little three lines or three or four lines or this little alert here, uh, and you can go into settings. Okay, and then sign back into Chrome and uh, if all went well with that hour long wait uh, it will pull back in your bookmarks and your saved passwords etc and your profile will be rebuilt okay so uh, this is one way to get rid of the dreaded repeated uh, error every time you open up Chrome and if all uh, does not go well for you and there's just things missing that you really need to access, you can always go back into the folder here, which again is the, uh, you know, percent sign local app data percent sign backslash Google backslash Chrome backslash uh, and rename the new one, right? You could right click and rename this to whatever. And then, uh, and then rename either one of your other two copies to simply user data, right? Making sure, of course, that before you do that, you've closed Chrome down, all right? And then when you reopen Chrome, you'll get your error again, but all your bookmarks and passwords will be there. And maybe if what you need to do is try once again to give it enough time to uh, save history, etc. right? Um, so... There you go. Hopefully this has proven helpful for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.